Okay, so what we're going to do here is talk about how you can uh, use deductions and exemptions and credits to effectively pay zero dollars in federal income tax. And honestly, it's really not that hard. You know, people think that we pay more federal income tax than typically they do. Um, so let's take a look. I've got two tabs down here, married filing jointly and single. So let's start with married filing jointly. And I'm going to set it up for $100,000 of wages. That's together, uh, both spouses. Now, um, let's assume that neither of them are contributing to a 401k. And if they do that, they take their $100,000 minus their health savings account and gives them $93,000 and adjust the gross income. I'm going to take the standard deduction of $12,600. Now, if you contribute to charity or you have a, a home mortgage, um, any of those things can give you a lot more uh, deduction than just the standard. Uh, let's assume that this is a household of five, so two spouses, three kids, and that'll be five people times $4,000 gives you $20,000. Anything in yellow here is an input, by the way. And that gives us a taxable income of $60,000. We start with that 93 minus this 326 and that gives us 60000 So it just does some math here, and it says that the tax due on that is $8,000. And the child tax credit, because you have three kids, is three, so you owe $5,000. But let's go in and let's put in some 401k contributions. Uh, with just one 401k contribution, one spouse going $18,000, we've taken our tax owed down to twenty-four seventy, And with two... 401k contributions and the HSA, the standard deduction, and three kids were now a hundred thousand dollar income as a family and we're paying zero federal income tax. So that's pretty powerful and there, we didn't do anything um, questionable or shady or anything like that. I mean this is just the way the taxes work in the US. Um, we did two big deductions for 401ks, a health savings account, we took the standard deduction and we have three kids so that gave us twenty thousand dollars in exemptions and 3000 as a child tax credit. Okay, so now we're on the single tab. So if you're filing your taxes as a single person, I'm going to start with the same kind of scenario, three kids, single parent. So let's say you earn $66,000 by yourself. We're going to fully max out your 401k. We're going to fully max out your health savings account. So when you subtract those two, you get an adjusted gross income of 44600 Let's take the standard deduction, and again, this can go up significantly if you have other deductions um, like charity or, or home mortgage. Let's take those three kids and let's create the exemption. So that's going to be 4,000 times four people is 16,000. Now you're down to an a taxable income of 22,3. So ordinarily, you would owe 2,800 in tax, credit against your three kids, and we're back down to zero tax.